Welcome back to Life with Diddy. This is Diddy. I am Ashari. And in today's video, we will be discussing 10 things they don't tell you before you get a dog. Let's get started. We all know that they need love, attention, and food. But this is the stuff that they refuse to tell you. Number 10 is they pee on everything. Literally. You just walked outside to take your puppy to go pee and they see a nice pony that they want to pee on so they pee on it on your way back inside that house that plant they're gonna pee on it again and again and again the tree the grass they will sniff something out so that they can pee on it. they pee on bugs they pee on other animals diddy has peed on bigger dogs they like to pee a lot. Number nine is that they like to roll in stinky stuff. So not only do they pee on everything, but if they smell something that smells a little bit um, pungent to them, they will lay on it, rub their backs, and roll in the smell. When Diddy was about, um, I think about four to five months old, there was a grass patch that stray cats used to go into and sleep and eat and pee and whatever else they would do in the grass patch. He smelled the grass patch and he went crazy. He rubbed himself all in it and he smelled so bad after that it took more than two baths to get the scent to kind of like go down a little bit. It smelled horrible. So yes, they like to roll around in stinky stuff. Be careful. Number eight is they turn into little monsters when you add water. I'm not talking about um, gremlins. He is not a terror, but it is a little uh, scary if it's your first time experiencing washing your puppy. What they will do is they will get out of the water as soon as you put them down they will run like crazy and do a little scooting move with their face i'll try to insert a video of you doing that right here number seven is they lick themselves too much cat owners call it grooming dog owners call it nasty <laughs> They are excessive lickers. They love to lick um, their paws. They're fascinated with their private areas and cleaning themselves. I'm assuming that's what they're doing. And yeah, they are frequent lickers of their own body. I have never witness such a crazy obsession with one's self <laughs> before owning a dog. Number six is they get hair everywhere, literally. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a long hair dog, a short hair dog, medium length, if you get them groomed regularly, you will have hair everywhere. It's almost like going to the beach, parking your car, and not getting out you wonder when you get home how did you get sand everywhere it's about the same thing you, even though you brush your dog every single day even though the breed of the dog is supposed to be uh, non-shedding or light shedding you find hair everywhere they get hair everywhere it's something that they don't tell number five is they don't eat pretty. I don't know where these dogs from, these dog commercials are from, where it's a little cute, foofy, white dog with 
long hair, running up to a bowl, a glass bowl, and eating some food. And it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it's eating it really pretty. That's not true. They don't eat pretty. They eat messy. They get food everywhere. They drink water and it drips all over the place. It's messy. What you can do is buy a silicone mat. Put the silicone mat under their food and water dish and um, it helps with having less of a mess because they are messy eaters. Number four is that they don't like their routines change. Do not change your dog's routine. If you feed them in the morning between this time and this time, do not change it to the afternoon. They don't like that. If you um, take them on walks um, two times a night and you decide that you don't want to take them on walks two times a night anymore, they will not like that. Um, Diddy literally wakes me up in the morning uh, if I'm not up by the time I usually take him out to go use the bathroom by snatching the covers off of my face, off of my feet, trying to take my socks because he's ready to go because his routine tells him it's time to go. So if you want to be on the safe side, don't change your dog's routine. Number three is they have terrible, horrible, bad manners. Puppies have the worst manners ever. They will cut you off when you're walking. They don't um, walk right next to you. If they see something, they will cross right in front of you. They also um, are a little rude to your house guests. They might bark at them. They might jump all over them. They might jump all over you. They um, will excessively lick you. They will bark in the house, be disruptive. There's a lot that they do that they will not tell you that they do. They are very terrible when it comes to their manners. So it's something that you definitely have to work on with them and training and focus um, because they don't come with a user manual and a way to program them straight out of the box. So. The number two thing is they get bored with their toys. So that nice squeaky toy that you bought and you spent $17.99 on, yeah. That toy in three weeks, it won't be anything. They won't care about it. They will not wanna play with it at all. Do not waste your money I'm buying expensive dog toys that you know your dog is not gonna play with for too long. They are literally like children, where they, you know, they might want something, or you might think that they want something, and they'll be okay with it for a little bit, but after a certain amount of time, they're over it, and they wanna move on to the next thing. And what I do is, he has several of these Nyla bones, several squeaky toys, several um, little rope, type toys that um, he plays with and what I do is I just switch them out so I'll give him uh, three or four of his toys and then I'll switch those out every month with the same type of toy but a different toy altogether um, and it keeps it like he's using new toys until they get raggedy and then I throw them in the trash and the number one thing that they refuse to tell you before you purchase a dog is they love you more than you love them. They really do. Um, while you're gone at work or school um, or wherever you might be, they're thinking about you more than you're thinking about them. And when they hear you coming towards the door from your long day, they're right there waiting for you. Even if you have to use the bathroom right away, they don't care. They want you to make sure that you see them and give them attention, tell them that you love them and hug them. And that's what makes them actually special. So even though it's a lot of stuff that they don't tell you, that's like, ugh, that the fact that they love you unconditionally um, and a lot more than you love them makes them the most special. Well, that's it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Video, uh, share if you care, and until the next time, peace. I'm out.